What a fool. Don't worry, don't worry. You're a goon. What a fool. Don't worry, don't worry about the back. Don't worry about the back. <laughs> Got a potato with bri oh, 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 oh. baked potato with cheese, barbecue sauce, mm. and the uh, and brisket. Hey guys, good morning. Crisp, chilly day. Mr. Cycle Fanatics and myself are heading out upstate New York, like big time, to the to the Finger Lakes. I've never been there. It's a place called Lech Lechworth State Park. Apparently, it's an amazing, amazing place. I call it actually. Grand Canyon of the East. So it should be, it's I think around 400 miles going there. Gonna stay overnight over there, one of the places. Grab some footage on the highway over here, and then as we go, and then as we go, have some good time. It's a last moment kind of trip that. John pretty much yesterday said to me, hey, you want to go for an overnight road trip? I said, sure, let's go camping. We checked out, and the weather is going to be uh, too cold. Too cold for uh, grabbing and and, and uh, loading our tents and stuff like that, so we're just going to stay at a hotel that we'll find on the road somewhere. It should be a five, six hour ride today. And uh, I actually put earplugs in today because uh, the Suwiki speed that I have is pretty nasty. <laughs> long term, long distance riding, it can be pretty aggressive and pretty uh, deafening. So I put some earplugs in. Let's see how that helps. I mean, it helps because like it mutes uh, the sound a lot. I'm currently connected to my uh, heated gear because it's still chilly. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning and it's still chilly. Somewhere in the 40s, low low 40s. It should heat. It should heat up uh, during the day, so that's that's going to be nice. Loaded my tour pack with me. I have the chopped with uh, the rack on it, so I can pretty much load it. It's the Advan Black Tour Pack, but uh, I also have a Razor Tour Pack, which is uh, pretty much uh, the same concept, but slicey, uh, slightly thinner. I call it the, the Pizza Pack, because it's like pizza deliveries, uh, you know, uh, delivery guys on their motorcycles, on their scooters. And all it fits is pretty much two pizzas and some uh, chicken wings. It's pretty much northwest uh, of us. Should be a very scenic ride. It's a beautiful ride. Didn't pack much with me. Matter of fact, I pretty much, I don't think I even needed my, uh, my tour pack. But I brought it anyway because all I pretty much took is uh, a set of underwear and a toothbrush. What else does a man need? A toothbrush and actually doesn't even need doesn't even need uh, extra underwear because you can get use of uh, one pair of underwear four times. You swap over uh, front back after the first day, and then the next day uh, you swap inside out go back uh, the right way and the next day you're in uh, front back again when it's upside down so that's a total of four days we're on the main highway up on uh, 
Route 17, New York already. Ooh, the, the trip just started. We're like an hour in, it's cold. Look at all the condensation. Yeah, that's the that's pin lock, that's why it helps. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what are you, 50 miles in? Stopped for a refuel over here. Bike's looking good, running good. Oh, we just finished our breakfast. It wasn't bad. I had a tuna fish sandwich. John had some bacon and eggs, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. We got a few more hours to go. It's warming up a little bit, so it's gonna be a, a nicer ride. It was a bit chilly uh, coming down up till now. Lunch. <laughs> I love to get uh, some of these highway shots. Well, a lot of the time it's just straight, high speed, boring, in between trucks. But a lot of the times it's just that wind, you and your buddy, side by side, on the bike. Oh shit. hours into the trip we're on 17 west I told you it goes north westbound the scenery has become uh, more and more mountainous it's nice twisty roads just us and the trucks listening to music on my uh, my head uh, my helmet because I put earplugs in so <laughs> so my uh, so my music is playing and it's nice weather is warmed up a little bit very nice area upstate this is we just passed we're actually in the Catskill Catskill Mountains up New York but we're going westbound so we'll be out of it very soon second pit stop to refuel we're gonna stop over there by Mickey D's. Stop. Rush, man. Yeah. About we're, wanna, we're about. I don't we're, wanna rush. No, no rush. <laughs> we're about <laughs> about 150 no, miles I in. I don't wanna rush. I don't wanna rush. Uh, the total trip is gonna be 700, 800 miles maybe. Oh, did you see that oil cooler down the dock? Yeah, I did. I did. That's Stop. pretty. Look, he that's didn't bring pretty, it. He didn't bring his heated gear. He's I do a, have my heated gear, but it's. No, I do. Like, I I I have my vented, vented. Indy Ridge boots on. I should have wore the non-vented like ones. Like mine. And I should have brought my heated gloves. And, and you're shaking. Look at you. I, you're, you're shivering. I'm a little chilly. But and, I'm nice and, and toasty, spring, actually. And it's spring. Yeah, it is. It and is I, cold. And I ride all winter long, and I wasn't this cold. Wow. <laughs> All winter long. <laughs> uh, let's drink some coffee, okay? We're currently on the 17 West. It's going, as you can see over here, maybe along uh, the Delaware. We're on the east east bank of the Delaware, in and out. Nice and curvy road. Uh, maybe you can see it over there on the left, in between the trees. Very nice. Uh, there you go. In and out, closer and further out from the Delaware. The road over here is kind of, the speed limit is 55. Maybe you can do 10 above, 15, 20 above. And there are a lot of uh, tar snakes over here. As you can see in the middle and sometimes in the middle, gotta watch out. Really close to these uh, windmills. Electric uh, electric generators. As you see, they're standing still, not moving. Guess you need a decent amount of wind for them to move, or they're being uh, maintained, but maintenance, but whatever. Pretty cool. We're going very close.
another pretty area. I try to, uh, so it's, it's not a boring video. I try to turn on the camera whenever we go uh, nearby, uh, interesting point of view. Right now it's, uh, I don't think it's the Delaware anymore, but a nice little river over here. You see on the GPS, I can actually see we're getting anywhere close. It's been a nice ride up till now. Weather is significantly warmed up. Poor John didn't bring heated gloves and he doesn't have it, his uh, grips or hand, you know, hand guards. Uh, so he's cold, he's shivering every time we stop. He's like shaking for the first 10 minutes. Over there landing, there's a short airfield over here. Maybe I can get it. I don't know. Yeah, there he is. You see it? Oh, cool. This uh, there's a ridge right in front of us, straight ahead, with quite a few. I can count at least 15 of them. 15 windmills, electrical uh, windmills, power generators, and these finally are spinning. These are actually turning. The one before, I actually thought it maybe was a big fan and that they use electricity, use electricity to, uh, to blow some air. <laughs> What's he showing? What are you showing, John? Oh. big they are. Damn. Then two. We just got off the highway and we pulled into the uh, Letchworth State Park. It should be like five miles away. It's the third pit stop. I hate these pumps that they're oversensitive forever you're trying to three and a half gallons. Where are you going buddy? Third pit stop for fuel and pee pee. I mean, Letchworth uh, State Park. We're gonna ride in, just filled up. Go see the Grand Canyon of the East. That's what they say. Bikes are running great. Like literally even a little, a little piece over here of uh, fabric to clean your glasses so many bugs over here dude i just came here to pee what's going on dude do not flush do not paper towel do not this please flush employees must wash hands after using restrooms thank you the management dude please do not lean on the sink Oh my God, this management, it's crazy. Really under pressure over here. We're in the entrance, so Letchworth uh, State Park. So I, it's uh, $10 uh, per, it's, it's look at something. there, motorcycles, no getting around. You can, you, can, you can dress them Dude. up, but you can't take them out. Dude, <laughs> listen, this guy is always complaining. Thank I'm telling you. So much. I can't make my own video. He's complaining all the time. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. You're thank you. Very cool. 17, 17 mile uh, wide, upper middle floor. This is also open today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, there's like a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Upper thank middle floor. You're welcome. Have a great day. into the dam overlook. Let's see what that's all about. Okay. Nature history adventure. Intertwine is great, a fascinating place like no other. 
we're apparently right here. If I, uh, no, absolutely wrong. Um, we're right here. And we're going to go all the way down. Orem Gorge with the rainbow. Okay, all kinds of pictures. That's the dam right there. Let's go see it in real life. What's the deal? Huh? What's going on? It's like empty. Why? I have no idea. It's totally dry. Look at that. Look at the of the dam. Damn. Wow, look at the that's a, that's that that's upstream, that's John. A big I, dam. I would say that's upstream, believe it or not. No? Water goes this yeah, way. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so so and that's, that's dry. Cool. And over here it's uh, like school. Yeah. Wow, what a what a Look at that. I don't know what you you call this ravine or whatever. It's amazing. Look at the cliffs. So we are pretty much riding along. Uh, I think it's the northern ridge of this huge gorge, or actually I would say this huge canyon. And we stop every once in a while, there's like a lookout. Beautiful views from, you know, every one of these stops. another lookout thing it's it's dry there's this whole oh there it is so it is there is water coming huh so I think what we saw over there was that part no 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 this is this is it this is this is it I don't know Well, up till now, um, there is a huge drop, and it reminds me, oh, there's a nice stream over here. Pretty much reminds me of uh, the Delaware by uh, Hawk's Nest. I hope it gets better, because uh, up till now, it's kind of seen that, been there, done that. But I think that further down, there are falls, and it should be really cool. The first uh, few miles are just bare mountain views. State Park, amazing. Look at this huge gorge, this canyon. Twisting all around. I had to take the, I had to take the helmet off because this is really you impressive. Don't want to grass, no, I just noticed that the like, stay look, behind. Look, look at that tree. Look it's at dropping, that. it's dropping, that's like... it. Look, look at it, it drops. That tree, and it drops. Uh, you said 600 feet down? Yeah, it And it's, it curves over here. It does a like 180 degree around wraps around over here wow it's a perfect spot look at take a look at the trees on the other side literally their roots are already in the air on the on the cliff itself just like one more erosion and the tree falls this spot is called the big bend the big bend in Letchworth uh, State Park the, the river goes all the way there, then breaks 180 degrees that way. Hey, what's his, his her, his name? Uh, it's Canyon. Canyon? Canyon? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you like the sneakers, John? Look. Yeah, I see 
<laughs> Canyon, how you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about hopping from one beautiful spot to another one. It's beautiful. Okay, we parked the bikes there and we're walking. Oh my God, walking. Walking to uh, Mid Falls, the upper part of the Mid Falls. It's supposed to be amazing, I can see from here. Take a look at this. It's where the water, look how clear it is, falls and comes out of right there. There's a bridge going over it. We'll get closer. There it is. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think it's just tracks, train tracks, or you think it's a, wow. It's literally a canyon right going down. John pitched up the drone, grabbed some footage. There's so much mist. There's so much mist coming from, uh, from this area. Look at that. Tell you something, how this started. We got into the park and it was from one uh, point of view to the next one and it wasn't thrilling but as you progress and go further further down the park it the the views are breathtaking at the falls it's like the it's the climax look at this look at this area look how pretty it is it was well worth going five hours 350 miles from home really 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 cool breathtaking thing, this thing is going to give him great footage check out check out his channel you know cycle fanatics Amazing, amazing footage going under that bridge, dropping into the uh, waterfall on the bottom, going up in, like amazing. I've seen him in real time do it on, on this little remote. Crazy, Check right? it out, it's amazing. Maybe I'll get one. <laughs> <laughs> too too, too much one? work, I did many years ago, but it was like, I was such a small channel uh, and it was such a waste of my time and stuff, so nobody appreciated it. Nobody appreciated it. It seems like it's a, a lot e easier to use lately, too, no? Like the drones. I guess, like today. I guess. It was a DJI as well, but it was a lot of work. That's the thing. Very nice. Amazing. It's like little Niagara Falls. Mini, mini Niagara Falls. You were there last year, right? In Niagara Falls? One of your videos, I remember. Um, I need to go there with the bike, uh, the bike, you know. That's amazing. Look, I love how clear the water looks. Look at that. On the way out, we just passed by this and I, we had to stop. It's unbelievable. Gotta stop. Gotta stop for this. Where do we eat? That's the biggest task right now. Figure out. We're in Mount Morris. Damn, no, we're at some place. I forgot the name of the place. We're gonna grab something to eat over here. How can you visit the state park and not have a burger named after the state park? That's what I'm having. That is what I'm having. And we're at uh, 
Why Banks? Tavern. Main Street, Mount Morris. Just outside of the park. That's worth burger. The blue cheese and stuff. You see? When you cut the burger in half, it's easier to hand handle. You got four corners, one over here, one over here. And on the other side, you have two of them. So digging in is easier. Got a method. <laughs> you can never go wrong with a burger. Very good. Yeah. So, so if you ever, so if you guys are ever in this area, I bet. That was pretty nice. Nice dinner. Let's get some uh, miles down south towards the house, towards home. And probably stop once it gets dark. We'll stop and find a place for the night. Another pit stop. Pit stop number four or five. I've stopped counting. We're going to head uh, another hour down south and then look for a little place to sleep. Bikes are running beautifully. From a retired um, oh, San nice. Diego cop. And uh, it, was, it was a great ride. I had good, good, good weather. Yeah, for April, I we're at the Hamptons Inn, uh, Saraville. I forgot where we are. But I said before we share the road with the bugs. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it was literally only an hour ride from where last point I said. How about that? Crazy. Oh my god, good morning. All I hear yes. is oh I didn't I didn't pack enough underwear. I didn't pack enough uh, socks. Look how cute that Sandy, is. Sandy, Where'd do you, you have that from your son Sandy, or your daughter? They got it from the first class of the airplane. <laughs> first class first class they give oh, us these got, first class dolphins. tourists. They oh, give us he's got dolphins. Dude, on you, there. you got it, oh, you got so everything cute. over here. I get it from I ride first class. That's so cute. Come on. I fought like do you have Sandy, do you have uh, a toothbrush? I forgot my toothbrush. Oh, Sandy, by the way, Sandy, did you, of, did you did you have speaking of toothbrushes? <laughs> let me see it. No, no way. Let no, me see it. No <laughs> way. <laughs> I got a special toothbrush. Oh. Our usual breakfast at these luxurious uh, hotels. The bikes are right there, by the way. This is how our road trip begins every morning. He's on the phone for two hours and I wait for him. This is how we do our road trip. Speak for yourself. Day two of our road trip is beginning now. Gonna load up the bike. Don't have much gear anyway. Ride southbound. Southbound towards uh, towards home while we, uh, we're gonna go along a few uh, rivers and scenic off the beaten uh, path gonna go off the highways oh look and just sharing again what the the bugs bugs love love the bike i love it too but that is actually a very quiet bike listen to a cold start on a true motorcycle.
starting the trip and we we drove we rode by this and <laughs> what a great way to get rid of the bugs I just care about the plus. Yeah. I know he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. I know him already. No. <laughs> the fucker. <laughs> Come on. No. No. No bullshit. Now it's the nasty drying it up. That's the thing now. That's like new, dude. Wow. It's like new again. Now when you're done, uh, dry up my bike, okay? I'm gonna dry your ass. <laughs> John, tape me for just for one second. What? Just tape me. It's it's rolling. Okay, this is what you call efficiency. Use two of them and only do the front part of the bike because that's gonna splash on you. Whatever's in behind you, you don't care about. Once you get home, it's done. That's the way to do it. Two hands, you see? What a fool. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about the back. Don't worry about the back. <laughs> Standing here, minding your own business, peeing. And look, look who I see over here, my, my neighbor. This 
see him nicely disguised. I think I'll just move back slowly. Zip up my pants and mind my own business. Bye. Bye. We're in the middle between uh, nowhere north and nowhere south. Actually, that is nor nowhere uh, west. So we're trying to figure out where uh, we're going next. It's pretty cool, huh? Riding for like three hours back uh, country roads it's beautiful it's a, it's amazing you go 40 50 max but it's twisty and it's up and down and it's the views over here are amazing like look at that look John says he could live here It's an amazing area, but you got to have more people around you. I do. I need to have more people around me. It's the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. I've been running the Hayabusa down this road every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. It literally drops. They won't appreciate the Hayabusa here.
our way home, going eastbound between Monticello, actually between Damascus and Monticello. We came across Big Kev's Barbecue, which is a recommendation that we got from one of the guys that was, uh, that stopped us on the road. And uh, he said, you gotta have that brisket. The brisket is so soft, you can suck it up with the straw. So we gotta stop and have that. Let's see. This place is uh, White Lake. White Lake is just near Monticello. You gotta check it out. I'm gonna dig in and see how good it is. Got the treasure right over here. I'm gonna go buy the bikes. Sit down on the floor and eat. Not really hungry, but the smell, the smell got me. That's my brisket. Quarter pound. And I got, got a potato with brisket. Oh, 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 look at this. You got to see this. What'd you get? It's a potato fully loaded with brisket on top and the brisket. Jam, you're going to be fat. You know, oh, oh, man. Cow, I didn't fat. know it was so much food. I thought you just... There goes John's... There goes John's... Uh, <laughs> There goes my mac. Mac and cheese. There goes my mac on the floor. I got pieces of cheese in my eyebrow. <laughs> Candy's eating on the floor. Mm, of course. See, I don't drop anything because I'm not eating on the floor. Like, not eating standing up. He said he puts it for 14 hours. Mm. That's good. Mac and cheese is on the money. Wow. It's on the floor. It's on the money. Some sauce. It hit the, it hit the floor <laughs> and cheese splattered up into my eyebrows. <laughs> You're a goon. The noodles are like still al dente. They're not mushy. I can't stand when they're mushy. Oh, so they're al dente? Oh, al dente. Very good. Trust me, Sandy doesn't know good food, even if it slapped him in the face. What the heck is al dente? He likes, he likes exactly. He doesn't even know what al dente What the heck is al dente? Come on. So stupid. It's oh, really good. God. It is really soft. Look at this. Fully loaded baked potato with cheese, barbecue sauce, mm. and the uh, and brisket. This is amazing. Look at that. Huh? That looks good, huh? Dude, that looks really good. Yeah. Loaded mine. potato, brisket, cheese. Brisket, cheese, barbecue sauce, and the and the potato, of course, mm. obviously baked. This is a nice combination because it put the, like the potatoes, garnished with sauce, the cheese, the brisket. What could you ask for? Listen, mm. it really is good. Wanna taste this, man? Good. Very good. There. Thank you. Well, that was definitely, definitely a great lunch. John's, John's leftovers are here if anybody's interested. I highly recommend this. It's a nice, nice little setup. We're gonna head home now. There he comes.